Hey guys, Sibs on Teddy here, and on this episode of Let's Play Paint Mario the Thousand Year Door. There you go, Grant. Are you happy about it now? And does this tree have anything? We're going to go head into the forest and pick up. I I think. Oh no, we're going to search after the flames that we fought earlier. I I always forget, even though that was like yesterday. And oh, Star Piece, I want it before I fight these annoying guys that we fought in the sewers before. I think we already do have these titles. Yeah, we fought them in the sewers, and I believe a maybe one or two in the Let's Play. No, that's not gonna be enough. That's annoying. We should have, and uh, no, I don't want to bring out Coops only because I'm probably going to have to tattle, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to tattle some new enemies, so it, there's no point in me switching out Coops because I'm just going to get pissed off at having to switch them back and forth, and oh, great, they're the ones that suck health. I hate these guys, especially because I really am awful at the timing for them. I could, I guess I could just go Art Attack on them, but that this really is super overkill, but I think I'll be able to take them out in two turns, which would be kind of nice. So I guess we're really not showing off a new enemy. I sh maybe could cut this fight, but I wasn't sure about it. So we're going to keep it in anyway, because I'm already finished the fight, and I was blathering for long enough that you guys actually stayed and paid attention, even though I guarantee someone's already clicked off the video. At least we got the star piece before we get the battle. Ooh, a badge block that I forget what it is. Can we sneak over here, grab the badge, and head rattle. Execute super blight to confuse enemies. So it's basically a hammer that confuses enemies, which is a badge I never used and I have to try out now because this is what I'm doing in this Let's Play. This is what I like doing in my Let's Plays, doing stuff that I never tried out before. I smash? I don't... I guess we tried it out. It's just basically a, a flavored... Yeah, that's all I, I like to think of it. It's basically a flavored hammer. It just does some sort of kind of effect that really doesn't matter that much. And I might as well get the item too and just a defense boost thingy. Mm, let's just continue on over here and avoid him. I want to shake all the branches, but I can't. Uh, do I want to bring Gary out? I'm just going to get pissed if I don't have Goombella out to tattle new enemies. And I can jump into that water, I know it. Should I just stop being a wuss and maybe possibly have to cut out the fight or just run by him like a beast? And I, I want to go back now because I believe there's a star piece right on the edge of the screen behind that little plant formation. No. Somewhere in this map, there's behind that plant formation, or one that looks exactly like it, there is definitely star piece. I don't know, I guess I'm gonna have to get it out anyway, but we can first show off these new enemies, which are just a reskin, more powerful pl piranha plant that we saw in Bugly Woods. In there, they're black and white, and here, they're all tropical and cool looking, which is kind of nice. And oh, did I put on. I'm pretty sure I put on uh, my uh, anti spike band. So before, we weren't able to step on piranha plants, but. Or actually, Putrid Piranha, sorry. Oh, yeah, and they're poisonous, too. Oh, they just get... The enemies later in the game just get really annoying. Actually, nothing is really as bad as the guys who put you to sleep, because you can just get stun locked and you're done forever. So basically, now I can jump on these guys, so I can just go crazy jump, man. I'm just waiting. The badge is a little bit later. I might be able to get it on this episode, and no, it doesn't apply for Goombell. I may be able to get it in this episode, I'm not exactly 100% sure that I will, but it is in this area, the badge that all I need to go and be complete jump man, which I'll, I'll try it out for a while and see if you guys like it. I could probably go with more varied jump styles, because I won't have to have uh, hammers on, but it may get boring, just jump, 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 even though jump is the far superior thing, and so many items back to back to back, oh no, it's just going, never mind. Oh, uh, do I want to fight him? Do I not want to fight him? I want to try not to fight him, and then if I really need levels, and there's the one that's beyond the formation. If I really need levels, I can do it off screen, but this game's really not that hard, especially when you know what you're doing like me, because I'm a beast. This is the guy we haven't fought yet. Okay, no! I think he's supposed to come after us right here, or is he just going to wait till I don't have the right thing yet? And I thought... Coops is supposed to... Oh, no, I have an idiot. I'm supposed to go like that. And then Coops is going to not do that. I just need Yoshi, and let me just do this correctly. Awesome! I'm just the beast of dodging these overall enemies. So let's head up here. Hopefully get lucky with the Flower Man again. Cool. I'm pretty sure we fought those guys. They're just basically the same exact things, but they suck flower power instead. So let's... Ah, Gary, come on! Mr. Coleman... And I don't know if I ever said this before with the name Gary. I probably mentioned Gary Coleman at least a tiny bit, besides his Gary Coleman gills on gills, yeah, Gary Coleman gills. Gary Coleman drill Gary Coleman drills, no! Gary Coleman grills on Drake and Josh is what I only remember Gary Coleman from and Ah, uh, I hate this part because you have to do it and I'm gonna screw it up and then you have to walk all the way back and then I'm gonna run into this fight while I'm doing Oh no! I guess I'm getting lucky with this flower guy, but 
Let's try this again, and if I really have to cut for like 10 feet, that's gonna be really just piss me off. Especially because I suck at these platforming things. They shouldn't be like that. Uh, oh no! Don't you do it from up here? Am I dumb or am I really smart? Wait, let me go like that because it goes infinitely that way. No, it doesn't go infinitely that way. Is there something I'm missing here? Oh yeah, oh that's what I have to do, I remember. You have to do it so you can tell where you're gonna land with Koops and then you switch over the Gary or Yoshi. So that saves sort of some of the headache if you can get that right. And I think the jumping, oh no, the jumping off Gary doesn't save you. And if I smash that, no, I don't get anything. I wonder what is in there, but I also don't care because I don't make feel like making that track again. I don't know why they throw so many items at you at once and... Uh, swap your partner's HP and, uh, let's go. Let's get rid of the courage shot. When are we ever, I know times where I'm going to want to, god damn it. Yeah, at times, at times, you're going to want to god damn it. I, <sighs> Jesus Christ, platforming in RPGs is not fun. I, uh, let me think of any RPG where it's fun to platform. I guess the second Paper Mario, you could consider that an RPG. Eh, that's not really an RPG, it's sort of like... It's something else. I only played it for a little bit, but it's not an RPG and it's not a platformer. I will. It's more a platformer than an RPG because it really doesn't have RPG-like things. It's more. Yeah, it's more like a platformer. Even though I've only played it for a little bit, so I don't have the right to talk anything about it because I just really didn't enjoy it. These cursed do ghosts blast it all. Oh look, Bobbery! I guess those are the three crew members that are lost. Part Bobbery's blotches. Is that you, Mario? Over there? You're alive, old boy. Righto. You came just in the nick of time. Get these two out of here, instant! Huh? But what about you, Admiral? You've got to get out of here, too. Just leave it to me, eh? I'll keep these ghouls busy while you get out of here. Flee! That's an order! Let me do what I must do! Now away with you! Ah! No, for Bobbery! Bobbery here thinks it's the right thing to do, so what are we waiting for? I want to help Bobbery! I can kick those guys! Ah... <sighs> Oh, Bobbery, please forgive our cowardice. You guys could have fought them. You don't have any sort of hammer type thing that you could beat them up with without jumping on them. Uh, I'm more mad at you, big burly guy that doesn't look suspicious at all. We up and left you, and everything was happening so quickly. Forgive us. Go on, eh? Excuse me, but I'd rather be going also. And hey, you, out there in front of the TV. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Who, me? Yeah, you. Could it be then? Ew, and I love breaking the fourth wall. It may be pretty obvious to you who I really am, but no telling Mario, or else. <laughs> you want out there in front of the TV? Did this guy go nuts or what? God, I, I just, something about breaking the fourth wall. I just find it so, like, I just love people breaking the fourth wall. It's, it's so nice. It's, Something about it just makes me smile, and I believe if we drop down somewhere... Nope, this is where we want to drop down for the badge I've been overhyping. Mary can jump on fire for enemies now, and that is the worst hidden shine sprite I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh yeah, if we put some like green shrubbery in front of it, no one will ever see it! And I missed that jump. I'm so great in platforming this game. But we get that, and there's nothing else there. So Ice Proof makes it able so you can jump on fire enemies. So you can 100% go, and it's only one badge power, which is nice. So you can 100% go all jumping. And let's see, can I take off my things, my enough of my hammer stuff to go all jumpy? Uh, we don't need Quake Hammer. I think that'll give us enough so we can go jump. And yeah, that's more than enough. And we can get another special jump if there's a special jump that's only worth one. Soft Stomp. Well, Shrink Stomp. Soft Stomp. Shrink Stomp. Soft Stomp. Soft Stomp. Why not? I picked it first. So now we are all jump. We can still use our hammer in the overworld, but we can go all jump. And oh, poor Gary just hurt himself down here. And let's check out what's going down here. I always forget if this is how you get the ice power or like dropping through the thingamajig. I believe you can also get down here by dropping through... No, that's over there. You just kill yourself. You can paper through it, but you can go back here and take this little thing to go into the background and we're bonding with the coconut tree. Which, I guess I'll take one of these. Why the hell not? Uh, let's get rid of Mini Mr. Rainy. What's the description? Fruit from a tropical island. To be honest, it ain't it ain't tasty. <laughs> ah, what a powerful... And that's... The <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mr. Mini, he just flies away to nowhere. And can we possibly not have to make the painful, painful walk of going 
And nope, please teleport us back to the beginning. Teleport us back to the beginning. No, nah, Nintendo's not nice like that. I think this is probably the longest episode where I've spent not re- God damn it! This is the longest episode I've just spent on the overworld. I'm usually never on the overworld unless I'm reading tons of text. It's, this is actually sort of exploring. This is like different. That's a whole new world out there in the Paper Mario world. Let's just continue on and stop thing. And hopefully we can save Bobbery and not have him die the same fate. Just a little well, not. That wouldn't be the same fate as Scarlet. Scarlet died a very sad and alone death. And oh, to that music, I assume it's something better. Erg, ugh. So this is how the Legend of the Sea meets its end, huh? Oh, well, really, uh, follow yourself, Bobby, unless there's some other legend to see that's showing up here. Oh, cool, they're playing Ring Around the Rosie. That's so cool, and that, that branch is shaking. Hmm, that, that's really nice. Let's just keep on exploring, see if we can find Bobby over here. Oh, no, so many, I don't know why they throw so many items at you at once. It's really weird. I, it, it's weird game design. They should at least gave us some in, what was the last eye? Is it bad that I'm already forgetting what the last area of the game is and mustachioed people? That's odd. Last area of the game was, I completely forget, let me think for a second. Uh, it wasn't Glitz Pit, that was one before, it was... I, I'm an idiot, how, how is my memory really that bad? Oh, it's, uh, Twilight Town, I'm really dumb, and I think we already tattled these guys, so let's go... Larry can't punch flames. Uh, let's go Coops. Coops is probably our best choice in this option. And I didn't get the chance to jump on them. That makes me mad. And also with my new uh, super jump and my only jump and see a timer faded out there. You can't select it. And it's really good because now we have uh, basically another power bounce. Uh, no, not another power bounce. Another uh, plus one attack, but it's only for jump. But it's still a plus one attack that's only worth two badge points. So, hmm. Let's go multi bounce and just see how ridiculous this is. See, we can do five on one bounce. And we, we can probably finish up this. Can we do it? Can we finish up this fight in one turn? I forget how much. I... Wow. That just shows you the power of Jumpman. That mini boss fight, one turn. Well, I, I'm considering way too many things mini boss fights, but that was one turn. That's a little ridiculous. Let's get him out of that tree. Oh, the pain of it all. Oh. Hey, Bobbery. Oh, Mario, old boy. Wait, are you? You're Gatsby. No, you can't be called Gatsby. You can't be. No, it's old sport, not old boy. It's close enough. You're Gatsby. You're the Gatsby bomb. You're the bomb, Gatsby. Oh, God. Ugh. I guess those blokes got me a bit better than I thought. Mario, please hear my last request. I must thank you for taking me out to sea one last time. But there is one more thing I need before I go to my rest. Chuck a cola. Col Chuck Ola Cola. Chuck Ola Cola! I was saving that one bottle, my last memory of Scarlet, to celebrate reaching. Oh my god, Bobby, why is your tail so sad? And how do you have that perpetual motion thing on your back? I saw it among the floats I'm drifting towards the island, so it must be somewhere. If I might have just one sip before my final voyage. Ah! <laughs> Er, get me that chuckle chuck chuck cola cola boy. Okay, I I mean that's it's really sad that he's dying, but I don't blame people for your last wish. I mean, I love soda. Soda's delicious. I should be drinking some right now. No, I drank some yesterday. I usually drink like one a week. No one cares about my soda habits. So let's cut all the way back to the camp and see if they have any idea what's going on. Ah, Paper Mario, and basically every RPG ever. So much backtracking. Gotta love it. No, you don't. Ah, damn it! He finally found us! Thank God for Gary. So let's see if Captain Asshole McGee knows what's going on, and hey, wimps, what's up? Admiral Bobberly, whatever happened to him? Well, if you didn't run away, maybe he helped out. Maybe you know, Mr. I don't know who you are, asshole, or at least I can't tell Mario. We can't tell him. What's up, Admiral uh, Asshole McGee? Ah, you were still alive! <sighs> well, we have some fortune left. Such relief for Flavio. I thought some jungle beast was snacking on you. Well, everyone is accounted for. Now wait one moment. Am I wrong, or are we still one man short? <sighs> Asshole McGee strikes again! Th th that's right! Bobbery sacrificed himself to save us from the ghost. Oh, poor Bobbery's just a badass and just a really, really sad story. Please, we've got to go back and help him. Oh, you think that now? Okay, we got him. What lunacy bursts forth from your mouth? The Admiral lives? What fortitude? Mario, front and center. I entrust you with the mission to save our deal. Admiral, thank you, Mr. Asshole McGee. 
Hmm? What is that you say? Chuck a cola? Chuck Chuck Ola Cola. Well, why would I have that? But uh, yes, by the way, Flavio is merely curious. What do you need it for? What now? The Admiral may soon perish, and he wants to drink it as the last wish? Wait for it, wait for it. The, the nickname's gonna be very uh, relevant soon. So what are we dealing with here? A sort of last request, am I correct? Well, Flavio is no choice. I found it on the beach, but the, for this noble cause, I yield. However, this Chuck a Chuck a Col Chuck Ola Cola is a part of my, I mean, our supplies, we, which we need to survive. So I will need you to find something to eat to replace this. On this, I do not budge. Asshole McGee strikes again. It's Flavio. I want to kill him. Yay! I'm sure there's something on this island that would be a suitable replacement. So, as I try to uncasually say, oh yeah, we should pick up this coconut, is what we have to do, so I stop myself from even more backtracking. I love RPGs, don't you? So what will you give me in exchange for this delectable Chuckola Cola? I got it right that time, make it good. I'm the editor of Floppish Gourmet Weekly, and so I know my delicates. Sure you do, Mr. Asshole McGee, I, I know you do. Uh... Can we just hit him on the head with a hammer and steal it? I mean, he kind of deserves it. Maybe we'll get a whack a bump from him. Let's give him the coconut. Ah, ah, a coconut is enough. Well, that is island fair, but somewhat cliched. Ah, well, perhaps I had my hopes set too high as for a foraging non gourmand such as you. Well, here you go. Take the Chocola Cola and give my regards to the Admiral. <sighs> he sounds. Flavia's treasured beverage. Actually, it's Bobberies. Tell him to waft the du, bouquet, 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 and swizzle it gently and savor all of the fine fizziness. Thank you, Mr. Asshole McGee, and guess what it's time for? You bet it. Cutting. I, I need to get, like, the Batman symbol of just, and the noise going with it. Like, doo doo. No, that's Superman. Get the Superman thing. It's like, doo doo. And me cutting back, but it's actually Mario's face. Or I could just use the transition from the, the interludes, and please don't hurt me, where it, like, does the changing thing. Even though that take too long, goddammit. See you guys there. And after a bunch of fights, we finally made it back to the area of our good old pal Bobbery, and let's not mess up Choco La Cola again. Choco La Cola, Flavio's treasured beverage. Hmm? Sniff? Sniff! That's probably not how I was supposed to read that. Ah, that distinctive bouquet. You, you brought it? Gulp, slurp, ah! This glorious flavor, dear boy. It awakens in the mouth. So the sea was generous enough to deliver the, th this one last grace, eh? Oh no, not the sad song! I have nothing left in this world now. Jeez! I thought this was... Can, do I think I need to go get the game case. Is this really E for everyone? This is so sad! And especially, there's nothing left for in this world now. Jeez! I hope they just marketed the kids who can't read. This is so sad! Thank you for granting me my last wish. Now I shall be re reuniting with my dear Scarlet. Fair... Well, Captain Mario... Hmm? <laughs> Snark! <laughs> I love how the music just goes out there. Gonzales, I think Bobber is just sleeping, yeah. He is, and I was getting all choked up. Give him a wake up, whack. Hey, don't. We don't need two Admiral assholes here, even though I, I can't call Bobber an asshole. He's such a badass slash sad guy. He's just old. Wake up, old man! Up, oh, up! Oh, what's up? Yubbity, yubbity! Pirates! Where are those pirates? Fairies! Not quite with it yet, huh? Give him another one! What now? Oh, Mario, old boy, it's you! You've adventures in the afterlife as well? Capital! <laughs> hey, you're still alive, you nutcase! Ah, uh, hmm, yes. Well, really? This isn't a tropical paradise for fallen sailors? Alright. Now I recall, Mario, old boy, we still have work to do. You'd better take me with you, should I should say. I'm sure my sea legs and my explosive personality will be rather useful, eh? And with that... We get the old sea salt in our party! Bobbery is probably uh, on my list of partners. Uh, he, he's one of my favorites. I I gotta... He's... I wanna say he's tied with Yoshi. As, as a character, I like him just as much as Vivian. But as, as like, an attacker... He's, he's not that good of an attacker, but as a character, I really like him. Bobbery's ability is a primer. Press X to make throw Bobbery, who will walk a few steps and then explode. And his ability's awesome, too. He's just like, boom. 
Use Bobby's explosions of black to blast cracks open, destroy walls, and activate switches. You can even throw him onto ledges above you. In battle, he can detonate on groundbound enemies. Or like, or if you like, you can use his bomb squad ability, which you they explore one turn later. It's really not that good of a move, or maybe I'm just not using it correctly. But yeah, Bobby is an attacker. He's really not that good, but his character is really cool. So I guess, um, actually no, you can guess what we have to do next. Walk all the way back to camp. See you guys then, and we're gonna get Gary back out, even though we just got him.